And today, the dogs are gonna keep making noise. It is. Come on then, up we come. Come, you can do it. Are you coming in for the intro? So hi, welcome to Monkey Box Craft. I'm Deborah, and today we've got an upcycling project with my beautiful assistant, Pell. What are we going to do today? What are we going to do today? We're painting a cabinet. This is the cabinet I got. He's got a nice little, he's a nice wee cabinet actually. Maybe try and get some photos before and after. <laughs> What's the chances I remember to do that? Slim to none. You going? Okay. <laughs> so if you guys hear any noise or snuffling or any of that jazz, it's the dogs. They really don't care. You shouldn't either. And I'll try not to mind it too much when I'm trying to edit this to make it make sense. Excellent. Picked up this lovely cabinet from the charity shop. He's got a nice wee cupboard door and nice wee drawer thing there. I don't know if you guys even can see that properly. The plan is to upcycle and paint it. I have a plan. I just can't seem to visualise the colour of the plan yet. I really should have decided this before I started filming, but here we are. Got a few different chalk paints. So we've got this sort of yellowy type colour and then we've got this sort of, what's it called, coca, a brownie grey maybe? So I was at B&Q and picked up these guys for a crackle effect. How bad can it be? How hard can it be? It'll be beautiful, it will definitely be beautiful. Got a clear varnish and a matte finish. We've also got a screwdriver and a stirring stick. We've also got a few large paintbrushes and a few small paintbrushes. And that is everything I think I'm going to need at the moment. We might need more. I don't know yet. It'll be okay, we can, we can find out these things together. What are we going to do first? Well, I've already prepped my cabinet. I've given it a really good clean and dry, so it should be ready to paint. And with chalk paint, you should be able to just paint directly onto the piece of furniture. This is the paint I'm going to use. That's the name of it. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. That's how the paint looks. I'm just going to paint the entire cabinet with the yellow paint. I think this is going to need quite a few coats. Everyone seems to have their own way of doing this. There's some people that say just paint it on as quickly as you can in just whatever direction and other people think you should do a bit more neatly. I'm not entirely sure if there's a right or wrong to this. I would say just use quite small amounts on your brush and just make sure you get it into all the little nooks and crannies. I do think the best way to do this is lots of thin coats. Chalk paint also dries really fast. Also, try and remember to put whatever furniture you're painting on top of cardboard or at least paint it on something that you don't care about and then if you get paint on it, it doesn't matter. So that's the first coat on the cabinet. I'm going to leave that to dry and I will get back to you for the second coat. I suppose I should add in, I think that first coat took me about 10 minutes to apply. Well, it's time to do a second coat. Although I have already done this little bit because it's really fiddly. Another recommendation is to get a brush that's of good quality and doesn't shed. Much like dogs. Unfortunately, I have two dogs that shed a lot and they're of not that great quality, bless them. Oh, I don't mean that at all, I don't mean that. It's just that they're a tiny bit old and tiny bit decrepit, bless them. And they do shed a lot of hair. Regardless, hopefully you'll have more luck not getting random hairs out of your brush or your pets or companion animals. Just try not to get discouraged if you get hair everywhere because do you know what, it's life. Three purpose in, enjoy it. Second coat's done. I'm gonna leave this to dry overnight and I'll see you guys tomorrow for a third coat. It's a fresh new day and it's time to put on a third coat of paint. Unwrap my brush from yesterday. I now see why this paint had to be so thick because it is not covering fabulously. So I don't know if it's just this brand or the color. I mean, the piece of furniture was really dark to start with. And let's see if this covers any better today? I am not convinced. 
Oh, if we got to do a fourth coat, we will. That's the third coat on. We're going to leave this to dry. I'll pop in the description box below for you guys everything I've used for this. I'll pop a link in if I can. If not, what I'll do is I'll just write like the name and like the colours I've used. I'm going to leave this to dry and I'll catch you in a few hours. So that's the cabinet. It had four coats of paint on it. So I think we are finished. Mostly I'm just pretty over painting this thing. So let's move on to the next stage. This cabinet. Whew. Well, the cabinet's had four coats now. I'm over it. I've got this crackle paint. So the idea is you put your base coat on, let it dry. Then you put your base coat of your crackle on and you let this dry for, was it two hours? Oh, a minimum of two hours prior to applying the second coat. Oh, this might be another day it takes to do this project. I'm not gonna paint the whole unit with the crackle paint. I thought I would strategically put on the crackle. So I've just popped out the drawer. We'll start with the crackle base. Ooh, it's really quite watery. Tiny little paintbrush. I'm gonna paint where I want the cracks to be. I mean, it seems to go on really easily. Where you can see the shine is where I've put the base coat. We will leave that to dry and I'll do the rest of the cabinet. I'm not going to leave this to, I was going to say leave it to cool for two hours, that's not right. Um, I'll be leaving this to dry overnight and hopefully get some colour on it tomorrow or sometime in the future. I'll wait and see what happens. So it's been a few days and the crackle stuff is dry in my cabinet. So I've been testing a few different paints. I was going to initially use this paint. And I just don't like the colours together. So I thought I'd have a dig in my shed and I came across these two colours. I really like. What the heck am I going to do? don't know what I was really thinking with this yellow colour. I just really wanted to use it. After a bit of deliberation with myself, I've come to an executive decision. I'm going to use the pink because that just seems like logic to me. I've been doing little testery bits down there. I'm just going to paint this whole unit pink and then I might do something with this paint. This is a garden paint for, I don't know, benches and things. Pink, what's that called? Pink jasmine. I'm just gonna go ahead and paint this whole unit with this pink jasmine paint. I think I just put my unit back on a piece of cardboard. Because this could get messy. Is it wrong that I like this better already? It's either going to be a great decision or a horrific decision. I'm gonna finish painting the rest of this unit and fingers crossed it dries well. And I'll let you know how it looks when it's dry. I've definitely overworked the crackle paint effect. Let me show you. The crackle effects work reasonably well in places. The problem is when you overwork it, this happens. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to sand that down and start again. Bit of a disaster. Happy with the way the rest of the cabinet is looking. I'm gonna leave this to dry and we'll try and salvage it. Okay, okay. It's about two weeks later and I'm not entirely sure I really like the pink cracked effect and I've painted the entire unit with this crackle paint again everywhere. So now I've painted it with the crackle paint, it's completely dry. I'm going to use this paint in cacao, cacao, cacao? Chocolate. So I've popped a little bit of the paint in here, given it a bit of spray with the water, give that a good mix. I also went and got myself an Annie Sloan paintbrush, quite pleased with that. It's a really nice brush. Definitely make it a lot waterier. I've already painted this unit with a crackle paint and let it dry for at least 24 hours. I've let it dry for two weeks, let's be honest. The trick to this crackle paint is you need to get it on fast and even and you really can't brush over anything that even just is slightly dry. So literally, once you've painted that little stroke of paint, that's it. Just gotta keep going, okay? Because if you touch that paint, it then slides off where the crackle effect base coat is. That kind of makes sense. I've actually decided just to paint the whole unit this colour and then maybe I'll go back in with accents of like a gold. But right now I'm going to show you what I mean about this crackle effect paint thing. Just going to spray a bit more water in there, mix it in. So my paint is pretty watery now and I'm hoping that will stop it drying quite so quickly. The idea is we get it on as quickly as possible, as neat as possible and don't overlap anything. Yes, this helps 
massively if the paint is watered down to get it all on nice and quickly before it dries. It's also really quite important to keep like your object flat when it's drying, so just do one side at a time. So all this is dry, it's the next day. I did go ahead and like sand the bits that were really dodge. So I have recoated everything with the crackle base coat. So now we're going to go ahead and paint on the top coat of this cocoa, the cocoa colour. Oh, I can already see that starting to crack. Do not overlap. Just get that paint on. perfect balance of your paint not being too watery but not being too thick so it dries nice and cracks while it's drying. I'm going to leave this to dry already I can see it's cracking really nicely. I'm going to leave this to dry and I'll get back to you when we start to do the finishing touches. Now my unit is dry. I'm not super chuffed with how these bits have come but I love the rest of the unit. I'm now going to do some gold detailing with this paint in gold leaf. That's how it looks. Just going to use a tiny detailing brush and fill any details where I think it needs. I'm just going to work around all the edges, everywhere I want to put a little bit of gold detail. I'm going to finish doing the gold details and I'll get back to you for the next step. So we're going to use a little stippling sponge to do the rest of the gold detail. So take a little bit of the gold paint, dab dab dab, dab of excess, and we're just going to dab that I'm just going to dab that onto the furniture. I'm just going to do the outer or the sunken pieces of wood. So dab, dab, dab. We're going to carry on dab, dabbing all the gold paint. So I've finished all the gold detailing, although I keep smearing that lemon. This door handle hates me. Well, I've finished painting all the gold details. So now it's time to finish this piece of furniture. I would have been happy with the yellow shining through, I think, now, looking back. But I really like the pink and the gold and the greyish brown together. I'm going to finish off this piece by using some clear spray paint. So this is the top coat I'm going to use. I'm going to take this unit outside, give it a good coat of varnish, and we'll finally be done. Yeah! And here is the finished cabinet. This is the finished unit. I really hope you like it. And if you don't like it, that's okay too, because I really like it. This cabinet is going to be living over in that corner and will feature in the rest of my videos, for the foreseeable anyway. This did not go how I thought it would. I was going to use the crackled top coat for this, like it's a two-part system. But actually after reading the tin, I would need to clean the brush with white spit. And I don't have any white spirit at the moment. I thought I would put this to one side and use a spray top coat instead. So, and it's the same manufacturer. It's a protective coat. I'm presuming it'll do the same thing. If you like what I've done with this cabinet and you'd like to see more of this sort of thing and other things I do in my life on YouTube, subscribing is optional, but it is very much appreciated. Also, leave a like. Leave a comment and please do share this video with anyone that you think might find this useful or helpful or just entertaining. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!